Sister Grace, what's wrong? You're not acting like yourself. <sighs> Stomach thing. I don't want to talk about it. Is it about that thing you were telling me with your husband? Is he still mad because the lights got turned off? Yeah, he's still, he's still pretty upset. Sister Grace, how much did you give? How much exactly did you give in the service that made your lights turn off? It was $2,700. $2,700? You gotta be kidding me. But I went to a church service. The man of God said that because it was the seventh month and the seventh day, we should give an offering in the multiples of seven. So he started calling amounts, starting from $2,700 down to $700. What about 70? What about 17? He said, if we give any of those amounts, we will receive a financial breakthrough within 40 days. So since I was desperate for a financial breakthrough, I gave 2,700, which was all I had, like the widow that gave her last might. I even marked it on my calendar. 40 days time, I will receive a financial miracle. Sister Nessie, I waited, I waited, I waited, nothing happened. And so I went back to God, I prayed, I said, God, the man of God said, I will get a financial breakthrough. I gave all I had. I, I didn't get the financial breakthrough. And God asked me, he said, did I ask you to give that amount? He then led me to Isaiah 6 says, for I, the Lord, love justice. I do not like robbery for bond offering. He also led me to Proverbs 3.27, which says, Do not withhold good from whom it is due when it is in your power to do it. God told me that the widow that gave her last night gave all she had, but it was money she had. That money she gave did not belong to the creditors. The money I gave did not belong to me. It belonged to the creditors. So you're telling me you gave 2700 for nothing? I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know what to believe anymore. Stop missing. Sister Grace, in the Bible, do you remember where it says in Ephesians 4.14 that then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the wave and blown here and there by every wind of the teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming? Sister Mercy, that is so true. That is so true. God will continue to guide us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. <laughs> the cunning and craftiness of people. And by the cunning and craftiness, I can't do that. <laughs> and their deceitful scheming.